In development communications, it sometimes feels like no one is listening. You work hard to tell people how you're fighting poverty or promoting equality. But when you ask them what they know about your work, they're way off the mark. Hardly anyone knows that global poverty has been cut in half since 1990. And people in wealthy countries dramatically overestimate how much is spent on development cooperation. What's worse is that many people seem to have lost trust in our work. They want less multilateralism, they call aid programs corrupt, and they don't believe our news. So it's not an easy time to talk about the Sustainable Development Goals, but we can't achieve the SDGs without public support. We need to inform and inspire people. But if we just keep talking in the same ways, they won't hear us. We need to stop, listen, and learn from what people have to say. Here are five ways for development communicators to become better listeners. First, get out of the bubble. Surveys need to include people in the poorest countries and people who feel ignored in all countries. Second, don't just ask about development cooperation. What people think about migration and trade, for example, matters just as much for development. Third, find out what motivates people. The SDGs need more than moral support. They need people to change their behaviors and take action. Fourth, look beyond opinion polls to understand citizens. You can see what they're saying in policy consultations, organize focus groups, or analyze big data and social media debates. Finally, share your lessons on listening. Come and join us at the OECD DevCom Network. To create the better world we seek, we need help from all citizens. And to engage citizens, we'll need to strengthen their hope for the future, rebuild their trust in multilateralism, and mobilize their support for the SDGs. This won't be easy, but the ideas are out there. We just need to listen out for them, because Good listeners make great development communicators.